Arkansas guard Moses Moody joins us here on the jump. Average 17 a game in the tourney. Welcome to the show, young man. Oh, good. Glad to be here. Yes, sir. Now, I understand you have an announcement you'd like to make, so please share that with us. Yeah, I mean, um, after a great year, after a great run in the University of Arkansas, I'm glad I could be, I could be a part of um, restoring the winning tradition in my hometown. And I would like to hire an agent and enter my name into the 2021 NBA draft. Well, Moses, man, congratulations to you and your parents. I, I know everybody's excited. Uh, world permitting, if you were able to go into the NBA venues and work out for teams, what do you want to show them on the court that you could bring? And also, what do you want them to know about you off the court? Yeah, I mean, they. I trust that they do a deep, thorough evaluation on my game on the court because, I mean, they're able to see that day in and day out. But, um, I mean, I got a lot to show off the court just personality-wise, and I think I could be a great guy in any huddle, any locker room, and just around uh, various teams and uh, groups of people. You know, Moses, you did a lot in your in your season there at Arkansas. Great regular season, third leading scorer in the SEC. Talk to me about the tournament run that you guys made all the way to the Elite Eight. I know it didn't end the way you wanted it to against Baylor, but you lost to the, the eventual champs. Like, what did you learn from that run to all the way to the Elite Eight? Yeah, I mean, me being a young guy on the team, we had uh, we had some older guys that's been in the tournament, that's played in the tournament. And uh, in the beginning, they just stressed, and my coaching staff stressed how hard it is to win games in the in the tournament. And uh, we just stepped up to the challenge, and we were able to do that at a at a great rate. And we made it all the way to the Elite Eight, which is a great accomplishment. And then that, like I said, that's just sparking the and uh, to restore the winning tradition in Arkansas. Because I mean, we we made it all the way to the end in the past, and I feel like we will be able to do it again in the future. You mentioned that coaching staff, your coach Eric Musselman, obviously coached in the NBA, and you also played for Bradley Beal's AAU team. What was that experience like for you as a youngster? Yeah, I mean, as a young guy, you know, Bradley Beal, NBA all-star, leading scorer, just, just a guy like that in the locker room. Because, you know, it's a lot of times where guys might have a team, they only show up when the camera's on. But not nah, Brad was there every practice, on the, on the sideline, every game and lightning to us after a loss. He just was very emotional and passionate and uh, shared that with us. Now, let me ask you this. What's it going to be like when you have to face him on an NBA court? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's going to be one of those surreal experiences when one of your idols become your rival. And I'm, I'm willing to step up to the challenge, and I've done it various times in practice uh, where we had to we play one-on-one -on -one after practice or I'm guarding him in the gym. So, you know, it's just time to do that, do that on a bigger scale. Moses, congratulations, man. Thank yeah, you so much. Moses. Best of luck throughout the draft process. And, man, thank you again for joining us here. We'll be talking about you, you know, very, very soon. soon. Man. Let's Bye. go. <laughs> Congrats, yes, we'll Thank you. you for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.